Hi everyone, here is the proof that I was playing Lego Lord of the Rings the whole time, by the way, because I was not at this part one hour ago. I know there's no proof of that, but there definitely I was not. I did play Lego Lord of the Rings for an entire hour. Now, if this video does not give me at least one hour of watch time in total, then, well, actually, I don't know because um I have no idea of, like, doing action. I, I don't know what to say here. But the truth is that I definitely did play the Lord of the Rings. What first happened, I was at the part in the forest, and then I was playing as, um I think, Sam. I did have to build some bridge thing with wood. Then I went after, uh, from the wood thing, I had to do this climbing thing with like some weird objects, some weird yellow objects, and the characters like jumped on them and then grabbed them and jumped upwards through them. Then I had to push some object down from the highest platform in order to have it to fall on the platform below it and then break something and it was something wooden which led to a cave then i went through the cave and then i was at another part and at some point there was a gardening thing involving sam i think i had to garden with using sam as the character and there was also a thing where i needed food and only like i think pippin or was it mary one of them had to use the food anyway then i completed that level and then i got to the part where they fight the Nazgul with like Frodo and Sam there. They were fighting and I didn't figure out how to do it for a long time. But then I found out that you could actually, you needed to do something with statues and build like statues of the Lego characters and the Nazguls would get stunned by them. Then Aragorn showed up. And he could just defeat the Nazgul by stunning each of them twice. Then I got to the troll place. The one with the troll statues. And there was there were some two things that I had to do. Like some two yellow things that I had to get together by controlling Gandalf. Who used them to make a thing. Anyway, then there was a bridge that led to Rivendell. And in Rivendell I had to do these two things to activate to open the gates and then when I opened the gates then I got to the scene where the fellowship of the rings was formed and it was like a cut scene with the lego characters and then I got a back and then I found some music thing where I had to activate musical instruments but I had no idea what that even did but then I found Bilbo and Bilbo upgraded Frodo to like have the armor or something and then then I left Rivendell to go to the mountains, and there was spice of Saruman who were like birds, and I had to use Legolas to defeat them. Then when I defeated the spice of Saruman, I got this one thing that I could use to o open a gate to a like a fortress thing, where then I had to use Gimli to push something down, and then that that thing, I had to use Gandalf to use it to get rid of something that was blocking the way forward and then when I got forward I then there was starting to snow and there were even some snowmen that I could destroy and also there was Saruman singing in the background and also there was this slide thing which was like ice and I could collect money anyway now I have no idea how to advance here and this is what happened during the hour during the last hour, anyway, this is a recap of what happened when I played The Lord of the Rings. And it took an hour, so I'd better get at least one hour of watch time from this video, even though it is only four minutes. But I gave a recap of what I did during an hour playing Lego Lord of the Rings on a 3DS. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this recap of what happened during one hour of a gameplay.